I felt like this was a whole different life for me. So I looked at it like I was growing and evolving in a way that I never could have imagined ever. My name is Kathy Mazur. I am from Pittsburgh. I was born, raised here, love it here. I had an old canvas and I had spray paint and I had masking tape and I started playing around in my garage with just spraying things and, and trying and then getting leaves and branches and trying all kinds of things like that. So it eventually evolved into um, painting with mostly acrylics. That's kind of what I started just playing with, you know, painting flowers and trees and and even some Pittsburgh scenes because I'm from here and I love the city. So I thought, you know, like it's also growing and evolving. So that's where I started. My husband actually signed me up for an art studio that was close to my house. I was able to get in and one of the artists there encouraged me to apply for the Three Rivers Arts Festival. I did as an emerging artist and I thought, they're never going to take me, never. And then, then I got accepted. <laughs> so this year is my sixth year of being in it. <laughs> so I'm really excited about that. Um, and then, you know, Greater Pittsburgh Art, Arts Council, I've had some like fun experiences with them. And it's just been just like one thing after another falls into my lap. And it's amazing to me. I started using foam brushes when I used acrylics. And I was actually told by another artist, she said, throw away those foam brushes, don't ever use those again. And I thought, why? <laughs> so I use foam brushes. I do use paint brushes sometimes. I use, I've used plastic hair rollers. I've used um, leaves and petals from flowers. I, you know, I just use like things that aren't what you buy in the art store. This is typical of the type of thing I normally do. I, um, and I picked doing this is sort of an abstract sunflower in my mind. Um, but because of everything that's happening with Ukraine right now, and that's their flower, and I just kept, it just kept staying on my mind. So I, I did that, but the center here is, is a little rough um, because when I said that I don't use paintbrushes normally, like this is an example. So I used an old hair roller <laughs> to get texture. <laughs> and, um, and it was, you know, a little bit work because it wasn't coming out the way I thought because it was rough and then to get over it to smooth it out more and make it look, the colors coordinate. And I was fortunate enough to get a an artist residency at Nemecolon through the month of March. And I had to do something that pushed the boundaries of my practice. And this is what I came up with. This is incorporating sign language into abstract art. I have, um, I've had people who are deaf throughout my life, from a neighbor to a coworker to cousins. Just wanted to bring awareness more to, to the deaf community. And I had taken sign language classes. This is the result. So this, so what I've done is a few um, different paintings incorporating different signs. And it was hard for me because I had to show motion and I'm not normally a person who paints showing motion. So when I said it was a stretching in my boundaries, it definitely was. <laughs> so this is the sign for peace. And um, I've done a few others, but this is the representation. And I, and I wanted to incorporate a lot of color in it because I like color, number one. And because I just think it makes it more happy. I, I think it's uh, communicating with your hands and with your facial expression and gestures that I think that's amazing how you can do that. And I just think it's joyful. So it, that's why all the color is there. That means joy to me. And here we are. <laughs>